Hello and welcome back to the channel and if you're new, my name is Perry and you're watching Tesla DIY. It's been a long time since I last posted a video. It's been so long that my hair has turned gray. Rich respect. If you know, you know. But anyways, today is a very exciting day for me. Behind me is a huge package coming all the way from Korea. It's from a company called Audro. That's A-D-R-O, stands for Aerodynamic Development Racing Optimization, A-D-R-O. So this is a full body kit for the Tesla Model Y. And from what I've been told, I am going to be the first Model Y to rock this kit. I'm going to set the camera down and unbox it because I really want to see it. And I'm going to show you the quality and tell you more about it. So unfortunately, upon receiving the package, the, the box is a little bit beat up, especially this area and a little bit of a hole back there as well. So let's hope that we don't see any damage to the actual kit. So I'm going to open it this way, that way you guys can see it. This is the first time I've ever received a full body kit this way. So this is very exciting. What we have here, looks like this should be the rear spoiler. And I got the Audro decal. And oh, it's even got the promoter, the adhesive promoter, which I also have a can of, I'm gonna be using in a bit. So what's special about this kit is that it is made from pre prec dry carbon fiber. If you're not familiar with pre prec dry carbon, basically is made differently than your traditional wet carbon fiber which uh, you have your carbon fiber cloth and then you have your wet resin pour on top versus these these have the resin already in the carbon and then using a autoclave which is a high pressure high heat oven that cures the carbon so it cures without any excess amount of resin and leaves a dry finish and then they clear coat over it to give that uv protection and the shine it's much lighter and much stronger because of the way it was made so let's take a look how light is it it's this light one-handed easily it's super thin but super strong so let's set this aside and then i'm gonna just unbox the rest of the camera and then put it up to the car and see how it fits Alrighty, so these are all the pieces. We got the front spoiler, rear spoiler, side skirts, and the rear diffuser right here. And it's everything, it's super high quality, very strong. But yeah, you can see the weave is perfect. pre prep carbon fiber is probably the best method, the highest quality you can make carbon fiber parts. So this is why this kit is such a big deal. So, so thanks again, Audro. And if you have not figured it out, this is my new sponsor for the Tesla Model Y. And a huge shout out to CJ. I'm gonna leave his Instagram on the page here. Uh, give him a follow. He's got the most badass Model 3 built on the internet in the whole world, basically. He does everything in his garage just like me, but he takes it to a whole new level with his attention to detail, just go check it out, um, Casper Model 3. But yeah, CJ, thanks for referring me to Audro, the team of Audro. So let's put the kit next to the car and see how it fits. So this is the front spoiler, goes right on. And look, I don't even have to hold on to it. It fits perfectly. Everything lines up, hooks around. I'm gonna take the camera and show you the edges and everything. So with my hands just slightly pushing against it, you can see everything 
hugs around beautifully. This side as well, beautiful. So I had already cleaned the car, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it another quick wipe. And I'm gonna be using these uh, 3M tape primer, basically adhesive promoter to make sure the bonding surface is well prepped and make sure it's never gonna come off. I'm gonna do the front first. So on the back side, along the edges, there is already 3M double-sided tape applied and also on the bottom here and also the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my knife and just take off just the edge a little bit here, peel it back and then fold it over. So that way when I put it on the bumper, the release film is exposed, just the tip of it. That way when I had it all aligned and everything, I could start peeling back. So it, we don't want to peel it all off because once you put it on, if you put it on the first time with it slightly off, it will be stuck to it and it will be a pain to remove. So let's do that. You see how light it is? I just tilt, tilt it up like this, one-handed. I mean, I'm really strong, but this is also really light. All right, I got my little helper, just to make sure the other side is lifted. So I'm just gonna peel back and push at the same time, making sure it's nice and tight against the body line. Because once I remove the backing of the top side of tape, it's gonna wanna adhere to the bumper. it that was very easy to install no screws it's not needed because how light and if the fitment's good the natural position of the kit is not trying to pull away from the body then there's no resistance and the tape is gonna do 100% of the job and to keep it on the car so now moving on to the side skirts pretty much the same procedure test fit it see what area needs the cleaning and the adhesive promoter and do the same thing. Okay, so I had cleaned and prepped uh, the side skirt with the promoter and uh, alcohol. And this tape right here was one whole piece. I slice it in the middle, that way I break it in half so I could go left to right, making sure that the side skirt is in the right position before I let it adhere to the body. If I leave it in one piece, I just feel like that um, in order for me to peel all the way from the right side all the way to the other side, it's just a little too much. So I decided I want to make sure the side skirt is in position, tack down the middle, and then work my way out left and right. So. Just thought I want to point that out. That is a foam which is pretty interesting. I guess it will help with any noise and vibration. Okay, so let's put this on. Again, it fits super nicely. Just place it over, make sure the backing of the tape is exposed. I'm gonna use my thumb to help level with the rocker panel. That way I know when you open the door, it's not gonna hit. There you go. And then I'm gonna work my way this way. 
push tightly as you move toward the edge. Very important to make sure every section is tightly against the body before you start driving because once you start driving if the tape is not perfectly bonded all the sand and debris is gonna get into the tape it's no longer gonna be sticky so position is right and push all right super tight nice and firm like they say it ain't going nowhere All right, that's it. And I'm gonna skip the driver's side and then just jump right to the diffuser. Okay, so for the rear diffuser, I do see that there are holes pre-drilled that is on the bottom and on the top all there is is double-sided tape so I am hoping and I'm guessing that I don't need to remove the original black panel but uh, we'll find out yeah, it looks like it goes right over and I did notice there was also a bag of hardware probably longer bolt also some rift nut that is labeled diffuser so this whole bag along with a audro badging that is gonna go right on to the diffuser yeah I'm gonna remove these bolts and figure out if I do have to remove the black plastic panel or not there are a couple holes on the bottom which I thought were the factory bolt but it isn't so you're gonna either self tap or rift nut on the bottom panel and use bolt to screw it in there are about four or six of them there are two indentation holes right here one on each side and they do provide these uh, countersink washer and stainless hex bolt looks like an m6 rift nut so i got my drill bit ready i'm gonna drill a pilot hole for the screw to go in and then i'm gonna remove the diffuser drill a bigger hole to install the rift nut and then put it back on that way i secure the top and then i'm gonna secure the bottom as well either with self tap which i don't prefer or i'm gonna use nuts and bolts if i have access to the back of the panel if not i'm gonna just nut insert all six points and that's pretty much it i'm gonna show you when i get everything done okay so i drilled a hole for the rift nut and you want it just big enough or in my case not big enough and I'm just gonna shove it through because the back is gonna expand and you don't want any movement on the side wall uh, ideally super snug then you just pull the back in and it's basically sandwich the panel here like that and you don't want to do it too tight and adjust enough now we have added threads into our bumper just like that and I'm gonna do the other side as well and I'm gonna mount the diffuser on the top side and then I'm gonna position the bottom and drill the holes where they should be and hopefully that's it Okay, so that took a while, but I finally got the rear diffuser on. It looks amazing. It is a huge piece and it's finished off with these really nice uh, countersink washer with the Audro Aerodynamic Development Rays Optimization wording on it. And for me, I had some issue with the 
rear fault light because mine's aftermarket. It pokes out a little bit too much. So I did have to file down the back side just to uh, make up some room to so it sits flush to the bumper. But as you can see, it's perfectly lined up all the way around. And um, all I have left is the rear spoiler, which is right here. Just have to remove the OEM style rear spoiler before I put that on. I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm gonna move the car out and air out and take some photos for now. All right, it's the next day. And as you can see behind me, the car is completely done. I went ahead and threw on the rear spoiler as well because there was nothing much to film. But uh, diffuser's on, it looks amazing. I drove it out yesterday to the movie and everything stays on. The installation was super simple. Front took me probably about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes max. Side skirts, both sides took me also probably only about uh, 10 minutes. The rear diffuser took me a little longer, but that was only because uh, I had these fishbone aftermarket reflectors, which uh, sticks out a little bit more. I'm not sure if it was a bad install by me, but I had to file down, remove some material on the back side of the diffuser to clear that um, reflector. But other than that, two bolts that is using the rift nut. I also rift nut the two sides on the bottom and use a M6 bolt that was provided. And then in the middle, I self tap. Uh, so a total of six bolts and then along the top, all the double-sided tape, so it's super secure, doesn't even move. The whole car moves with it. Everything fits perfectly. Amazing fitment, amazing quality, super light. The weaves is perfect. Spoiler also, there's no pushing at all needed to fit it. It just plays right on top and sits perfectly over the trunk lid. And then the side skirt as well fits amazing, looks really nice. I really like the side skirt, probably my favorite feature. Uh, really subtle, no winglet, anything like that. Um, sticks out a little bit. And also, um, for those who are not on bags and are concerned about scraping and all, this kit is actually not too low. It's enough to look aggressive, but yet it's not overly um, too low. As you can see, I'm all the way aired out. Before, on my Revel Sport front spoiler, my front would be sitting on the ground. But as you can see, with my car aired out, there's still plenty of clearance. So it's good for my wife that she drives it daily. And you just don't have to worry about it if you're on static suspension. So um, yeah. To finish off this beautiful kit, I do have another product I want to throw on. Uh, this is sent to me by Souvenir. I have done a video on their body kit on a Model 3 before. Uh, you can check those out. But uh, they sent me these anti-scrape protecting rubber pieces that you just tape on the bottom where you would scrape. And these are lower profile. Uh, unlike other ones that you have seen, these are as durable, if not more durable. And the lower profile of obviously does the same thing, but at the same time does not add as much extra height or doesn't make your car any lower. And I can tell you that when I removed the Revel Sport front spoiler, I did find that couple screw on the bottom that was scraped and I had to use an angle grinder to cut a line through it and use a flat head to unscrew it because the hex key was all damaged. Had I had these, it would have uh, prevented uh, the bolt being scraped. If anything, it would scrape on this plastic first and or the carbon fiber. So this, these are good to have. I'm gonna just tape it on, probably under both side. I don't think the middle is gonna get contact to the ground, but yeah, I'm gonna throw these on and then I'll show you. And just like that, it's done. You can't see it until you, or unless you 
get really low on the bottom. I'm sure if you can see it at this angle, but yeah, you can't see it when you're standing wherever you are, even if you step really far back, but it is there to protect your beautiful spoiler. So, so if you're interested, make sure you check them out, uh, souvenir.com. I'll leave a link in the description as well. I'm gonna go to my usual spot and, and get some detailed fancy b-roll footage and show out the amazing look of the car and if you're interested in this kit I'm pretty sure uh, by the time you see this video they may be already taking orders and I believe individual kits will start selling uh, in a month or two uh, don't quote me on that uh, I'll update you in the comment section if I hear anything back, but um, I'll leave information in the description like always. And with that being said, enjoy the B-roll and I'll see you guys next time.